Hey Internet, welcome to Worldview Everlasting, your favorite YouTube addiction. This is your daily fix. So the Pope was in the news again yesterday, back from a trip to visit Africa, and he spent some time with reporters and, you know, said a few funny things. At the top of the list for most Christians is probably his comments about fundamentalism. He was attempting to draw a line between fundamentalist Islam and the ISIS attacks and the actual religion of Islam. But the question that the Christian has to ask is why is the Pope going at such length to protect a false religion and in doing so actually attacking the idea that there is a divine truth which all people can believe. Fundamentalism is a sickness that is in all religions, he said. We Catholics have many that believe they possess the absolute truth. Religious fundamentalism isn't religion, it's idolatry. False certainties take the place of faith. Oh my goodness, how can he say that idolatry isn't religion? Isn't idolatry false religion? Is there such a thing as false religion? If a belief belief in truth takes the place of faith, then what is faith? A belief in non-truth? An actual love of doubt? I thought that faith was trusting in what God had actually said. Now, I am far from calling myself a Christian fundamentalist, but I do believe in sola scriptura and the word of the living God that is sharper than a two-edged sword that is killing sin within us and then raising us to life in the promise of the death and resurrection of Jesus and what it means. Is my certainty in that historical fact that's been accomplished? for the sake of the life of the world? Idolatry? Does it replace faith and love? This is the same guy who on this same trip in Benghazi prayed in a mosque and let an imam ride around with him in his Pope mobile, who said that you cannot cancel a whole religion because there is a group of fundamentalists at any moment in its history. Well, um, I think you can cancel a whole religion because it's not true though, right? This being the situation, all Christians must beware lest they become participants in the ungodly teachings, blasphemies, and unjust cruelties of the Pope. Indeed, they ought to abandon and curse the Pope and his minions as the realm of the Antichrist, just as Christ commanded, beware of false prophets. The errors of the Pope are blatant and they are not trivial. And the command of God is certain that we should flee idolatry, ungodly teaching, and unjust violence. The treatise on the power and the prime of the Pope, subscribed to by Lutheran doctors and preachers in 1537. But don't worry, the Pope is still looking out for our best interests. We are on the verge of suicide, to put it strongly, he said, regarding climate change. Well, Mr. Supreme Pontiff, I'd have to say that you're actually on the verge of suicide regarding the Christian faith. Jesus.